Hey guys, it's me, Hallie, and probably never saw me before, but this is our crazy four family YouTube channel. So we hope that you would subscribe to our channel and like all of our videos. And if you want some comments, if you can, please give us some comments about some stuff. So in today's video, it's going to be, this is our first video, and it's going to be how to make a pumpkin pie from scratch. That is pretty awesome. So without further ado, let's get started. What you'll be needing are two pie plates, two sticks of butter, some ginger, some cinnamon, and some cloves, some all-purpose flour, four eggs, some 100 pure pumpkin, some salt, some that? freezing cold ice, um, and some sugar. I don't know what he's doing, but he's up. And two cans of evaporated milk. You will be needing two and a half cups of flour to pour into a bowl. Also to that bowl, insert one teaspoon of salt. Then mix your flour and your salt all together until completely blended. Then insert your two sticks of butter into your bowl and I chop mine up so that it's easier to mash up. Then mash it up until it is all mashed up together and until it feels like crumbly stuff. For this part, you might need somebody to help you because while you put some freezing cold water in it, they have to mash it all up. And you're gonna keep on inserting the freezing cold water with your spoon. And as you do that, they're gonna mash it up until it starts to feel like dough. Then mash up your crust into two big balls. Then set the crust balls into the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. Now on to making the pie. Now into a different bowl, bowl to make your pie. You are going to be adding one and a half cups of sugar. Then one teaspoon of salt. Yeah. Then you're going to be adding two teaspoons of cinnamon. Then one teaspoon of ginger. Then a half teaspoon of cloves. Then mix it until it's all blended together. Then you're going to be cracking four and eggs into say, a oh, small these people bowl. Paying attention. As you pour in all of your four eggs, you're going to be wanting to mix them in as you pour. <laughs> then you should have this wonderful brown looking mixture, but not until you add the 100 pure pumpkin. Voila! The 100% pure pumpkin. pumpkin. <laughs> then my whole can of 100 pure pumpkin, I will be pouring that into my brown mixture. <laughs> then mix it all together. <laughs> then look at that. You've got your nice orange 
high filling. Then take your evaporated milk, and as it said, Not shake sure. well, shake it well, okay. because you want to follow the instructions. Then just use your can opener and unscrew the top. Then pour Ooh. both of your yeah. cans of evaporated milk into your clear pumpkin mixture. And then look at that. You have your final completed Make sure there's no chunks mixture. on the bottom. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Okay. Out of the refrigerator, grab your two crust balls and take them out. Then spread some flour onto your countertop. Then get ready to roll out your dough. Go ahead and apply some flour onto your <laughs> roller so the crust doesn't stick to your roller. <laughs> then roll out your dough until it's nice and big. Then, perfectly, you're going to get your crust and put it like perfectly into the corners, into the rounds of your pie plate. Feel free to peel off any excess dough that will hang off off the edge. And the final most best part of all is to pour your pie mixture into your like crust. Stuff for both of your pies. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Bake both pies at 425 degrees for 15 minutes. Then lower the heat to 350 degrees and bake for another 45 minutes. Let them cool for two hours. Then put them in the refrigerator until you are ready to take them out and enjoy. And insert the other pie with the other pie. And last but not least, don't forget to clean up your mess. Another 45 minutes. So it's not going to be done for a while. Do you want some more dough? No. You're done? Mm-hmm. That's what it looks like when it's all baked and ready and you're just like ready to enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.